Today we're going to explore the cloud-based AI-driven stem separation tool from LaLal.ai. For more great music production content from Attack Magazine, don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. We recently did a shootout video on a number of DAW and plug-in based stem separation tools for the modern producer building off accelerated developments in the field of both spectral analysis and machine learning, making possible the separation of individual elements from bounced stereo files to a degree one might have only dreamed of some short years ago. Today, lalal.ai has made progress with their Phoenix algorithm to extract vocals and other elements from backing audio tracks. And they do it all through their website. There's no direct DAW integration necessary, which means it's platform agnostic. When you go to lalal.ai, you'll be invited to choose a file or drag and drop it here, which we'll do momentarily. We've got a number of different algorithms to choose from. The first one being vocal and instrumental, separating into those two stems. And the P symbol denotes that it's using that new Phoenix algorithm, which means we can toggle between the previous algorithm, which eliminates that icon, and the advanced Phoenix algorithm. And with the advanced Phoenix algorithm selected, we can adjust the processing level. I found normal worked just fine for my purposes, but depending on the source material, you could switch for a milder or more aggressive algorithm. I'll leave this on normal while I quickly demonstrate the other stem separation types available, which include drums, bass, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, piano, and synthesizer. Going back to voice and instrumental, I will select this daydreaming track and drop it here. Some of the tools explored in the stem shootout do a lot more than just stems, but if you're just trying to extract stems or acapellas as lalal.ai is designed for, it makes sense to use a sort of pay-as-you-go service where you're only paying for the amount of actual audio that you need to extract from. So currently we're on the plus pack with 300 minutes and the fast processing queue. You could try a light pack if you only need 90 minutes. Uh, that should be plenty of time, but once you see how the minutes are counted, you might realize you need a little more time than you expected because lalal.ai, as our files are processing, does not currently offer a feature to separate all stems simultaneously. It will always bounce out to stems, whichever your selected stem type is and the backing material. In this case, we got the vocal and instrumental, and I've got a one minute preview I can check before committing to the full file process. So I'll preview the vocal, skipping ahead to where I can see some more audio. Sounds pretty good. Maybe a hint of a trace of a pad in the background, but Pretty decent. Now I'll check the instrumental again, skipping ahead to that same segment where the vocals are occurring. And there's really no trace of the vocals left, so that's brilliant. I'm quite happy with that. Now, if I were not happy with that or I wanted to try a different stem separation type, I could select that type here and create new previews. But for now, I'm going to simply process the entire file. So the files are being prepared. And now we get this notice that there's been a success and the files are ready. I can download them directly here and lalal.ai rather conveniently emails a download link as well. So I can download those and get to work. So I've gone ahead and processed stems for that daydreaming vocal house track along with a hip hop track called Help Me and a rock song called Sword in the Stone. Links for all of those should be down below. So I've brought all the clips in unwarped and we can hear them together. I'll solo each track, starting with a daydreaming drum extraction. And I'll advance the playhead to where there's something other than drums to compare. So I'll solo just the drums. 
and it seems to have interpreted some of the low bass synth as perhaps low toms. And there's everything without the drums, so that could be useful for all kinds of remix purposes, but it's very interesting to have everything aside from a selected stem rather than all the stems separately. It creates a different perspective on the track. So I'll check the daydreaming bass quickly. Again, advancing to where there might be some bass. And so this is the no bass track here. So it has extracted the bass quite nicely. Now I'm going to try the synths algorithm, which is admittedly in beta. And there's one minor issue there, I would say, which is that the synths start off fine, but they include the bass as well. And there's no way to attenuate or adjust for that on the algorithm side. Now, technically, that is a bass synth so I'm willing to give it a pass. However, because it already extracted the bass on the bass stem, if you extracted both of these, you might have to resolve with some filtration or other mix solution to get them sitting together if you wanted to recombine them. So I'm sure they're going to be updating that algorithm in time. Finally, let's check the Phoenix algorithm vocal extraction, which I think worked quite well. So there's the purely instrumental remainder, and here's the vocals on their own. So there's just a hint of digital residue there with some kind of noisy ghost transients in the background, but otherwise, it sounds quite good and I think could certainly be worked with for a remix. And the instrumental track as well, if you're just looking to remove vocals from something, it did an excellent job. Now I'll just quickly check this hip hop track called Help Me. And I did try stemming it out, but I found that the bass and the drums did not separate in a satisfactory way, and they were actually better off left together in this remainder format, just as the backing track. But it did quite a good job separating them. Now finally, we'll check all the stems for Sword in the Stone. And this gave me the chance to experiment with the laolao.ai electric guitar algorithm. which I think it did quite a good job of. Now here's the bass. And I think I should advance the playhead to where there's some more drums and vocals. Now it seems to have done quite a good job with the drum kit. especially when it gets a bit louder. And the vocals. Also super well separated. And they all merge back together quite well for remixing purposes. So by way of contrast, I'll check the house track. And perhaps you'll notice this issue I mentioned with the bass and the synths doubling up. I could simply remove the bass from the equation. It's funny, it's taken, actually now that I listen, it's taken the low notes from the bass on the bass channel and some of the higher notes of the bass on the synth channel, so there's almost a call and response in that bass line between the two elements. So you might have to make some decisions around 
whether the synth uh, option is picking up the bass, maybe you would try the electric guitar algorithm on your synths instead, or the piano algorithm, and see if that captures it a little uh, more accurately. But I wanted to just work with the actual parts contained in this song. So here's the Help Me track, one last time, just so you can hear the bass. Your face might melt if I go the vocals and the drums on their own in contrast to the merged backing track which to me sounds quite a bit stronger so this has been a quick look at the stems exported from lalal.ai and they sound excellent there's a little bit of finessing you might have to do but I think that's quite understandable and with a low cost, it's certainly worth trying. It's also clear they're going to continue developing their algorithm, possibly adding more features, hopefully an instant separate all stems option. And uh, at the price point with the free trial, especially if you've got any material that would be suitable for this, I think it's certainly worth giving a try. With LaLal.ai's pricing plan, you don't need to worry about making a major financial commitment for a tool you may not find yourself using on a daily basis, so their pay-as-you-go model should be quite low risk for most producers. It's also competitively priced compared to the other plugins we highlighted in our STEM shootout video. Being cloud-based and DAW agnostic means you don't need to worry about pesky plugin formats complying with your chosen platform. It's also great for DJs who can simply download acapellas and drop them into their favorite DJ software or directly onto a USB drive without worrying about any advanced production know-how. So that's our look at lalal.ai. And remember, if you want more great music production content from Attack Magazine, don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. And we'll see you next time.